All right, um, I was asked to how to get the actual text right for the pencil. Um, so what I did was I created my name and I wrote this in Illustrator um, using a way, uh, my Cintiq. I used the I used that. So and then I imported it in. To import it in, you need to save as an Illustrator 8 file, and then it just imports right in, and you're done. So I've got my, my line work for with my pencil. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, in the top view, I'm going to create a spline. Okay. Now, the numbers on the spline make it simply 1 by, we'll say, 300. And for segments, um, so you've got this obnoxiously huge spline there. Um, for segments, uh, length is going to be 100. Uh, Actually, nope, I'm sorry. Let's go back. 1 by, we'll say, 500. Okay, now that should give you, if you look up here, and most of our stuff, if you look up here, that's going to give you a whole bunch of small segments. And what that's doing is actually going to wrap around this. So what we're going to do is we're, we've got our plane. I'm going to go into the Modify panel, and I'm going to add in. It's called Path to Form, like so. And it asks you to pick your path. So you click Pick, and then you pick your path. Now, first thing that's going to happen is you notice it's it's not very... Uh, it doesn't look like it's doing anything. That's because we're going to pick the X transform, and then you'll notice that the the name starts writing here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just click the angle axis and rotate that to the right, um, 90 degrees. And you can actually create a spline in a different direction. It'll do this. It'll do the same thing, but it's just the way it imported. So with that. Um, we're just going to move this spline kind of over our existing path here, something like so, and I'll zoom up in there so you guys can see it. So as you can see, it starts path deforming um, along the way here. Okay. Now what we're going to do for that path deform is we're going to actually um, go in here, and we are going to auto key like so and actually move this back to uh, zero. So we're going to auto key and this is going to be zero for percentage and we're going to do stretch um, at about um, we're going to do the stretch at about uh, we'll do it point zero 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 one. It's going to turn it to zero so and then we're going to move the slider bar over and we are going to go in to the percentage. We're going to do this at 50%. And we're going to do the stretch at about 1.03. You can play with these numbers. And then you'll notice that what happens is you've got um, this big long spline in there. And it's actually going on both sides now. So we're going to turn off the auto key. And if you go back into the plane, um, actually, we're going to go back into the path to form, and then you can actually use the animation slider to see that it writes along the way. Okay, so what it's actually doing is it's it's moving it along that spline. So what you can do is go back down to the plane, and you can actually go into the width, and by by lowering the width, you can get your better better writing technique or your, your, it'll tighten up on both sides so there's your writing now we're going to go back to path to form now if you want more of a curvature to the animation um, what you need to do is you need to add in some rotational aspects in there and you can start by changing we'll, we'll put up about 50 and then we'll just change the twist here. Actually, just kind of start playing with these numbers. And these twists will kind of give you that more of that calligraphy feel look to it. 
So it's again just kind of deciding where you like it, um, what you what you like doing with it. Um, you know, as you can see, I'm kind of moving around this this aspect here. Um, so if you you know you want, you can actually let's just change some numbers here. Let's give this about uh, rough 80s, and then let's do the twist. And the more you twist the more it'll flow through the the picture so you kind of find where you where you like this twist and we'll say eh, I kind of like it there so you like your twist right there and then um, now notice what happens with that is that it actually turns into a 3d um, look because what you're doing is they're actually twisting it back and forth we're gonna add an edit or uh, a freeform deformation box two by two by two and we're gonna go into our control points and we're gonna select the top two control points like so and we're just gonna shrink that down as tight as possible without crossing over so like so and then if you'll notice your animation is flat and there you go.